Hello, my name is Ben, and you are watching Sunday Fun Day. Alright, what we're going to do today is patch together something brand new, kind of keeping in theme with what we were working on last time, which is the bit crusher or, you know, bit crushing uh, capabilities from Euro React. So we're going to go ahead and pull that back in here. Um, let's go ahead and work with uh, just a bit crusher for now. Um, let's go ahead and get a, I think it's in the blocks base, uh, the mix four. Uh, I want to go ahead and use that and see some colorful levels. So let's get this guy pulled in here. I uh, don't think we're going to need the clock, so we'll just use our note in uh, module for anything we need to control from an envelope perspective and uh, we'll go ahead and use that for levels. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just start getting things patched in here in terms of some audio cables. Now what I want to do is I may need a few different, in fact I think I know I'm going to need uh, three of these, so I'm going to duplicate these, and I'm going to run uh, each of these signals into the mixer. So let's go ahead and get those patched up here. And uh, that way they're ready to go. Now, what am I going to run into these bit crushers? Well, uh, oh no, I'm trying to use the end. That's not going to work. Um, what what am I going to use? Well, what I'm going to use today is instead of j like an oscillator, you know, like we were using last time, I'm actually just going to try and use a uh, noise module. So, um, And these are just creating some low-level noise, it looks like, just by themselves. Just with nothing. I don't even hear anything, but it looks like Reactor is making some kind of audio level here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to patch into each of these, we're going to patch a different noise oscillator. So this is the same bit crusher we looked at last time. Um, and what I want to do is actually pull in all of, well not all, but many of the noise blocks from the Euro React collection. So we're going to start with multi-noise, we're going to also pull in spectral noise and tune noise. So let's go ahead and get these pulled in here. Spectral noise and then tuned. Okay. Now, multi-noise is going to go to this first one. Spectral is going to go to this second one. And tuned is going to go to this other one. Now, actually, um, before we send these to the mixer, in fact, I could go ahead and, and kill all these audio cables, we want to actually control the envelope of each of these signals. So what I want to do is actually um, pull in an envelope follower and a, uh, a, a VCA, uh, possibly a couple of VCAs to, to go ahead and plug into this mixer here. Uh, I'm also going to make things kind of tri-level, make it look a little bit better and easier for my brain to look at. Uh, so let me just do a little rearranging here. There we go. And then what I want to do now is go ahead and get uh, 
just the the I think the best uh, or just the envelope that provides you the most tactile and visual control of your signal. One of my favorites is the Toy Box uh, multi breakpoint envelope, which is a visual envelope follower uh, that can be used to program eight different stored envelopes. And uh, you can sa save these different envelope shapes and then, you know, have it play through the shape, uh, you know, or just play through it every time a gate signal is read, basically. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and run the gate signal to the reset. And we normally do green for our gate. And then we don't have, well, I guess this does have a pitch uh, for the tuned noise. But other than that, we're not really, we're not here to mess with oscillators or any sort of music. We're here to mess with a noise that sounds kind of noisy that then bit crushes over time. Instead of like a sound, like we had a bell tone last time that kind of bit crushed over time. We want to do the same thing sort of this time, have a little more tactile control over the envelope. And then I want to save this as a rack that I can then I just want to pull it up as a sound inside of my uh, machine song that I'm working on, which is a skinny puppy cover called Warlock. But um, at any rate, what we want to do is let's get the toy box VCA pulled in here. And let's get this copied because um, we're going to need two of these. And let's go ahead and just get these plugged in here to the top. This is where they're going to live. And uh, we'll go ahead and go out of, well, we want the level to be controlled by the envelope. So we're going to go out of the envelope and into the control for each of the VCAs. I think we only need three because we only got three signals. So we'll just work with that and send them into control one, control two, and then control three, which is really just control one of the second VCA. That's fine. So we'll go out of input one or output one rather and uh go ahead and plug that into input one of the mixer go out of input go out of the out two and into input two of the mixer and then out of out three which is really out one of the second vca here and go to input three so one two three one two three pretty straightforward and then um we need to now go in from now I would actually like we could use a couple of different tones really if we wanted to and we could hook up a, a second mixer we could have really all four of these uh, noise tones coming out of here to try out if we wanted to that's not a bad idea so we could use just these two VCAs so what would we then need <clears throat> We would need another, oh, we'd need another quad mixer, really, and another of these VCAs. So I'm okay with that, really. Um, I don't mind. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go duplicate. And, okay, yeah, now I know this one's not really connected to anything. It still has the envelope hooked in, which is cool, but this doesn't have any connections out. Okay, so really this first mixer is just going to be used for this first multi-noise. So we'll have a white, pink, brown, and a gray option coming out of these first four. Uh, so uh, for this one, uh, We'll go, let's see, brown, gray,
And then this is spec and tuned. All right. So that's brown gray, brown gravy. And this is white, white Pinkerton. And this is spec tunerson. Uh, all right. And then, um, yeah, we only need the one envelope. That should be fine. And then let's get, okay, we were in the middle of kind of setting up all our outputs. So this is going to be for brown gray just by itself. We need another quad mixer in here because I want to see some color with all the levels. We could just use two stereos too. Let's do that. We don't need, because we'll have two unused at that point and another second quad mixer, so we don't really need that. Let's just use two more stereo outs and mix everything down into like a little toy box VC, uh, toy box mixer and then stereo out. Okay, that's what we'll do. So toy box mixer, four channel, and this will now be the um, stereo out. And then this is going to go into uh, input one. So this is our mix section for uh, white, pink, brown gravy uh, mix four. And then uh, this is just the overall mixer. And then we're going to have two more uh, level mixers just like this one. Uh, which really we can just use this one. There's no need to, meh, I like the metering. It's more of a color. It's more of a visual thing. I just like it. So no big deal. Just keep it. And then let's get these set to what, whatever color we want to use. Let's say blue. All right. I think blue is like 10 or 11. I actually want to do something else. Eight, nine, eight. I want to set that to seven. All right. I'll be purple too. And then um, let's go. And we're going to need two of these. Let's duplicate this. And these will be, what, that's seven. So that'll be six. That'll be five. All right. So this will go out into two of this kind of final out mixer. And this will go into three of final out mixer. Here we go. Now let's start getting some uh, audio plugged into all of the VCAs. So we have white and pink. We have brown gravy. <laughs> Woo! That was hot as hell. We have sound. That is for sure. And it's probably... Way too loud. Uh, so, but at any rate, we do have sound uh, for the first first four. Oh, first three. Fourth one doesn't seem to be working. Not sure what the... Is. Oh, the control's not plugged in. Because I was anticipating not needing it. So, that's why. And I bet... We plug that in now, and I bet you we have signal. Yep. So it's like, all right, we have all sorts of noise options now. We can pan them different ways. Here's the final out. So that probably needs, needs to come down in volume a little bit. All right. And then how's our overall level in the DAW? All right. Let's dial that in just a touch.
Yes. We, well, we have an enveloped noise creator. Um, all right. So we're going to go out of the tuned noise and then um, go uh, into um, into e so we're going to go out of the spectral noise and go into this this next one and then go out of the tune noise and into the other one here uh delete no that's not what we're going to do we're going to go out of these into the VCA which will control the level obviously uh based on the envelope that's what we want to do um so we're going to go out into the VCA and then out of these into the stereo outputs That's a cool, that is a cool ass noise generator. I like that. Spectral noise. That is awesome. Mode. Switches noise mode white, LSFR, SC gray, pink, Browian. That's cool. Dig it. All right. And then um, let's go ahead and get this other noise. And then we need to get all the bit crushers worked in. So I'm kind of just getting all my uh, routing set up where it makes sense to me. And I know all the levels are working. And then uh, we'll get the bit crushers worked in and the envelope happening. Um so this is the VCA envelope, and then we're going to need another multi-breakpoint envelope. Uh, so toy box multi for the uh, modulation. So let's go ahead and get this gate happening as well. And... Uh, okay, so then out of uh, this, that, that's already happening, and then, okay, output here into this other out of tuned noise, yeah, out of there. Okay, we don't have control set up yet. We still don't have control set up. I thought we did that. Maybe we didn't. Um, that's fine. Oh, it duplicated this one where we didn't have it set up. I bet that's what we did. That's fine. And then uh, we're going to go out of this now to complete the routing into the stereo. All right, we have noise all over. All right, we have something here. Oh, it's tuned. low pass to high pass. So there's a low pass filter on here. There's a high pass happening, or a low pass happening, or a band pass happening, but you cannot control those filters. That's very interesting. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of an interesting sound. It's kind of dark, yet it's got this lightness on top of it. So let's keep that. That's cool.
bring everything down by about 10 dB or so. And just double check our levels. It would be cool to introduce some panning, something that does some different things with panning on uh, the stereo image. That would be pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, levels wise, I think we're okay. All right, let's get let's get let's get to bit crushing. So we're gonna go out of here into the uh, modulation A input of all the bit crushers. And um, then we're going to start uh, doing some kind of bit crushing over time for each of these. Now, we can only use one of these. I mean, if we, we really need four more bit crushers. So how do we want to do this? <coughs> might be better instead of using so many bit crushers well i kind of want to play with that that's what i sort of want to do all right so let's keep a couple of these somewhat tuned down and let's just work with the white noise for this one for now And then let's go ahead, and if we decide we want to work with all four, uh, we can get those added as well. But I do want to play with just different, you know, different things happening for each of the bit crushers, possibly. So we may need more envelopes, too. So we'll, we'll see. This might turn into a beast. But that's okay. And for now, we'll just set this here. And this is about as tight. It's about as pretty as this is going to get. So, uh, okay, out now into this input. Now the first bit crusher is patched in. And then we're going to go out into this bit crusher. And then this is, that's into the spectral. So, all right, that is patched in. This is into the tuned noise. And this is currently going there as well. So now the third bit crusher is patched in as well. And we want to start with kind of a somewhat bit crushed sound. And then for the modulation A input, we want to open it up so that it gets to a clean signal and then slowly bit crushes over time. So, all right, we now, now we just need to basically mess around with this envelope setting so that it, um, kind of does, it gets close to where we want. I think we're getting really close right now.
Double click sets the zoom factor so that the whole envelope fits on the display. Nice, okay. So we can set it out and double click it again. I wonder if we did this and played with an upside down envelope. Let's see. Come on, man. At any rate, just kind of playing around with getting the right sound. And I think we're relatively close. Um, so we're going to get to um, trying to really get this dialed in. And uh, and we'll kind of go from there. Doesn't really make a difference, I don't think, obviously. Um, you know, I, either, 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 or, really. Um... But what I'm trying to do is get a sort of a clean noise that bit crushes over time.
So we need the amp envelope to kind of do a similar deal here. So There we are, pretty close. It's, it, I think it's pretty close to where I needed it for the track uh, by a kind of long amp envelope that then cuts off real suddenly. Something like that, you know, something close. Yep, we're getting there, we're getting close. All right, I think we're there, guys. So we're going to call this, um, we're going to save as in just standard rack format. My racks. Um, bit, you see, maybe bit crush over time. How about just bit noise? Over time. All right, there we go. Bit noise over time. Pretty simple. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I think it might be kind of cool to hear all of the bit crush in there. So let's, before we wrap up, let's go ahead and just add the other three bit crushers and just make this thing a monster. We're nowhere near uh you know uh our sort of cpu limitation so let's uh let's just make this thing a beast more as well and then uh we'll hook in uh its very own bit crusher so call this the white bit crusher we'll call this the spec bit crusher we'll call this the tuned bit crusher 
And then what we need is a bit crusher for the other three for pink, brown, for pink and brown gravy. So we're gonna go Euro bit. Ah, uh, no, not that one. I'm gonna play with you later. Um, but let's go Euro bit crusher and duplicate this. We need three more. So, uh, let's go ahead and get these worked into the chain here somehow. Uh, how best to do this? I mean, probably having like this up here would make room. Having this first bit crush up here would make room. And then we would work in two of the bit crushes down here and maybe another, we maybe just move the spec noise down here to the bottom. Maybe, what else can we do to clean this up? I mean, Let's hide the ports for a minute. Love that about digital synths. Um, that obviously needs to go to the main outside. Uh, these are more levels. I'd like these to be off to the right. That still looks like shit. Um, that's too far over and that's too far over. So we may just need to... Um, bite the bullet and kind of have some multi-level things, which is fine, really. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, so take me out to the ball game, And let's say, how about take me out to the crowd? And it's going to look fucking wild in terms of order and whatnot, but it's much cleaner. I mean, you still have a little dick sticking out of the end. Um, whatever. It's just personal preference. This is all, you know, there's no need to sit and, you know, waste time on a lot of this stuff. Uh, this is about as probably good as it's going to get. And then um, all of those are already hooked in. Uh, if we show cables, at least we have everything labeled now that we move things around. Um, so let's actually put that spectral noise on top of that bit crusher. This is still close to the white noise. And then this is going to be pink and brown gravy. So pink. And then brown. And then gravy. It's actually gray. I keep saying gravy. Uh, but you guys know the fuck I mean. So um, all of this is hooked into modulation A uh, for all the bit crushing. So let's go ahead and keep that going. And um, we'll go ahead and color it blue. For modulations and here we go all right and then uh, pink let's go ahead and color it purple and brown and then gravy and then let's get the outputs connected so right now this is just connected directly to the VCA and instead, we want to patch in the VCA for pink. So that is going to be pretty sure it's the second output of, yeah, of that first VCA. So, you know, input two, you know what I mean? And then uh, let's get that happening. 
set it to some bit crushes. And then uh, same with this guy. Set it to some bit crushies. And then uh, go ahead and modulate upward from the A modulation side, if we can ever do anything. Uh, that one needs to get some bit crushies as well. And then there we go. All right. There we go. Okay. And then bits. Bits will modulate everything upward to a clean tone and then modulate back downward to a bit crush tone and then cut it off. So this is actually going to be, we should just say without what it is. That's the VCA envelope. And this is the mod envelope and can we clean this up it's just gonna bother me <laughs> no we can't can't clean it up that's just what it is um it would be even if that wasn't there but it's there so um let's see what we have we have that hooked in we don't have these hooked in we still have Brown gravy is still hooked in from the original multi noise right into the VCA. So to to patch this in, they're already patched into their respective bit crushers. Let's go out brown into in one, and then out of gravy into in two. Let's just... Not bad. So let's, let's get a nice wide stereo image by just panning each of these to kind of just slightly different settings. So I'll keep, I always kind of keep the kind of darker ones closer to the middle and uh, the brighter ones push them out to the edges and that just kind of makes a nice cool stereo image. And then get a nice stretch in. We've been at this for 45 minutes. A lot of the dark ones are taking up a lot of space in in just in the overall picture, so I'm gonna turn them down a bit. darker one too. Let's keep the darker ones turned down.
To be completely honest, a high pass filter at the very end that just opens up the low tone a little bit more uh, would be pretty sweet, actually, because it would filter out. Um, it would filter out all the low tones that I'm I'm looking to kind of eliminate some of the darker tones toward the beginning of that, but then add some of those darker tones back as it starts to bit crush. So a low pass, or no, not a low pass, a high pass would do just that. Um, let's look for filters. I know some of these are going to have a high pass setting, like the Paul filter I'm pretty sure has a high pass setting. So why don't we go with that again? It's like last time. And let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay, I was wrong. So let's look for... I know there's a high pass filter. There's got to be one somewhere. Let's check filter in toy box. Let's see. Yep. High pass. So uh, we're just going to use the filter module from toy box. And now we officially have a full screen, I mean, full sized. Reactor blocks. It's taking up too much, too much space, too much spaces. But that's cool with me. I have no problem with that. Um, uh, we can't keep our stereo image, not unless we put two. We could put two. Might as well fucking put two. Unless there's a stereo. Let's look for stereo. Um, toy box filter. Multi-mode filter, filter. What's the multi-mode filter again? Yeah, let's use that one. All right. And the, the regular filter has a stereo version as well. But I want to preserve the stereo image. Uh, so um, just being a, being a cunt about it. But no, no worries. Uh, we don't want to notch. We want to high pass. Ah, oh, I love it. All right, so this... Yeah, I have this labeled wrong, I think. <laughs> I think this is... Wait a sec. Let me see. Yeah, this is the VCA control. This is the mod. Cuts off the volume like that over time. We're all good. All right, I was just confusing myself. So we're going to go out of this into modulation A of the filter as well, so that we can do what we were talking about, which is have it set to where it is, but then kind of hopefully open it up over time is the goal. All right, so what we need to do is set it to its destination. Yeah, there we go. Let's already set it to filter everything below 100K. We, we want whatever kick drum. We want the kick to sit there and stuff like that. So I'm not going to fuck with 100K. So right there, uh, already mix ready, noise. And then we want to modulate this upward.
That's what we're looking for, guys. We're looking for a noisy stab that bit crushes, opens up in high pass filtering over time, and then lets go. Just cuts it off. And I think we achieved that. We call it noise over time. And we've been at it for an hour. Got other stuff we got to do today. So on that note, until next time.